أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم لن ينال الله لحومها ولا دماؤها ولكن يناله التقوى منكم كذلك سخرها لكم لتكبروا الله على ما هداكم صدق الله العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين <coughs> My dear respected listeners It is the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we are sitting in a day which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us about through the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is really pleased with his slaves in these days. Like, like we said last week, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala holds this day so honorable that Allah has taken the oath, has sworn by this day. Well, Fajr, the Fajr of the day of the 10th of Zul Hajj. Ulama al-Mufassirin, Ulama al-Muhaddithin have written that this Yawm al-Nahr, this 10th day of Zul Hajj is a very special day. And the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has taken the oath of Fajr of this day is that the Hujjaj, when they have to perform Wuquf in Arafat, that is Yawm Arafah, on the day of Arafah, the 9th of Zulhaj. But even if they make it to Arafat before the morning, before the dawn of this Yawm Nahr, their Wuquf is still valid. And the reason is that the 9th has the day, the Yawm Arafah, it has a night before it and a night attached to it after it which is very much unlike, very unlike any other days. And Yawm al-Nahr is a special day because that is, that is a day which has no night. The day of, the, the day of sacrifice, Yawm al-Nahr. Therefore Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hazrat Mufassirin have written, Ulama Mufassirin have written, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has particularly mentioned the dawn of this day, Wal Fajr. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said, that there isn't anything more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in these days of sacrifice than to shed, to spill the blood of a sacrifice, a sacrificial animal. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has extended a stern warning for those who have the capacity to sacrifice an animal before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and still choose not to do it. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has said that they should not even come near our masajid. They should not even come to our masajid. Those people who choose not to sacrifice, although they have the capacity. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us those who fully partake from the blessings of these days by doing our best sacrifice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The way the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has shown to us. How, what, is, what is the way the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has shown to us? That animals which are permitted, and we all know the details, they will be sacrificed and they will be sacrificed as a sign, as a gesture of our personal sacrifice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked, as we said in the khutbah this morning, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked by the Sahaba, Ya Rasulullah, what are these adahi? What are these adahi? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that it is a sunnah, it is a way of your father. Sayyidina Ibrahim ala nabina alayhi salatu wassalam. How is he our father? He, every single Nabi, every single Nabi is our spiritual father. And a lot of them are our ancestors by lineage as well, by bloodline as well. So Sayyidina Ibrahim ala nabina alayhi uh, salatu wassalam, he sacrificed, he went so far as to when he knew for sure that Allah wants him to sacrifice the most beloved possession, his son, when he knew for sure, and he took his time understanding it. And Yawm al-Arafah, as we said last week, it is called Arafah because this day it made clear, to, it became clear to him that this is for sure what Allah wants from me. He proceeded to sacrifice his very own son. 
And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we've all heard of it many times, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepted his sacrifice and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted him the title of friend, Khalil. Ulama have said that why was Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam given this specific title of Khalil, friend of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why was he given this specific title? His title of friendship was granted to him because he is one Nabi of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given different honors to different Anbiya. This honor of khullat or friendship was given to Sayyidina Ibrahim alayhi salam because of the many, many, many sacrifice upon sacrifice upon sacrifice that he made to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, the Sahaba asked Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told them that this is a Sunnah of Sayyidina Ibrahim Alayhi Salaam. The Sahaba asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Rasulullah, what is in it for us? What is in it for us? The Sahaba asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Rasulullah, what is in it for us? What is in it for us? The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that for the hair, every single hair on the skin of the sacrificial animal, there is a there is a good deed written. There is a reward for you. The Sahaba, Mashallah, beautiful people. They asked the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ya Rasulullah, what about an animal? Like a sheep, for example, that has a lot of hair, that has wool on it. The Prophet ﷺ said that even for an, uh, an animal that has wool on its skin, for every single hair, for every single wool, every single hair of wool, there is a reward. So my dear respected brothers, unfortunately, sometimes we, because we think, we think that our thinking has advanced a lot. Our knowledge, our information has advanced a lot in these days. We think that we can find ways that are better than the ways of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam which can never be true, which can never be true because we've been talking about this for very many past Fridays that the perfect way to please Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is only the way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and none other all the other ways are a way to displease Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and the highest station, the highest station that anybody can achieve is to be a perfect slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To give in and submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the station of the highest honor that anybody can get. And that station can only be achieved by following in the footsteps of the Prophet sallallahu So if the Prophet sallallahu has shown and the Prophet sallallahu has made wajib for every single Muslim who's adult, who's at their place of residence, who is sane and who has the capacity. When the Prophet ﷺ has made it necessary for such a person to sacrifice an animal, then that is the way to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and no other way. So my dear respected brothers, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding. This day should remind us that sacrifice is not only this is these days, one thing that we should remember is that it is a mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is an unimaginable mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah has connected our pleasure with his pleasure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has connected the two. The day we become happy will be the day when Allah is happy with us. So Eid al-Fitr will be that day when Allah, we have pleased Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah has promised his pleasure after a whole month of fasting and after a whole month of training of our nafus, our nafs, ourselves. Similarly, Allah has become really pleased with the greatest ibadah, great ibadah, with the greatest collective ibadah that takes place on an international level for the world to see, where people put their life on the line in following the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They sacrifice their comfort, they sacrifice their money, they sacrifice, you name it. Our, our, our friends, who have been to this ibadah, hajj, the pilgrimage, they can tell you that there's, there's points where your life is on the line, literally. You don't know if you'll be able to survive the next few hours or not. So my dear respected brothers, when there's so many people who have done this, this great ibadah, Muslims have collectively pleased Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased, then it is a mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has also connected our pleasure and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us a day of pleasure after we've pleased him. So Eid al-Adha, Eid al-Adha is a day 
where we give thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after having completed a collective ibadah and the way we give thanks is to read two rak'at collectively in the morning and we sacrifice our animals in following the footsteps of our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and Sayyidina Ibrahim ala nabina alayhi salatu wa salam May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us an understanding when we sacrifice we get the friendship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala there is nobody else who has sacrificed more than our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam therefore he was given an even higher station so he was given the station of the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him anta habibi anta habibi you are my beloved the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and it comes in some hadith the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam repeated before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Ya Allah you have given such and such stations such and such honors to different anbiya what is my special title what is my special title the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was told by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anta habibi I made you my beloved I made you my beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so my dear respected brothers all of this is when you sacrifice what you love what you hold beloved and sacrifice is not for a single day in the whole year. Sacrifice every single moment of our life in the realizing. Every single moment when we want to go in the direction of disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to remind ourselves that we are headed somewhere. We are going somewhere. There is somebody who has created us. Somebody who we are thoroughly dependent on. Somebody who loves us more than our parents and our own, our own selves. The one for that we are going to give up our evil desires. We are going to sacrifice our evil desires. We are not going, we are going to, we are going to kill ourselves. We are going to let go of everything. We are going to sacrifice everything, but never ever sacrifice the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our, 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 our Lord. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala all grant, grant us all that tawfiq. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our awliya. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all our good deeds. Wa akhru da'wan alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Brothers who have prayed the sunnah. Indu sunnah alayhi wa